three friends, Ashton, Emma, and Lewis, went skydiving together. This is them right before they jumped out of the plane. Which of them is in danger? Ashton. He's wearing a regular backpack instead of his parachute. Amelia is running away from a group of zombies and comes across three doors. Behind the first one, there's a raging fire. Behind the second door, there's a deep lake. Behind the third door, there are venomous bees that bite everyone who enters. Which way is the safest? I'd choose the second door and then just swim away. It's just a lake. Amelia can probably do it. Esme was walking in the forest and got lost. It was late evening when she finally found a witch's house and asked the woman to help her get home. The witch recently got internet access and was shopping online, but there were lots of fake items on the internet and she needed to buy only original products. Unfortunately, she didn't know the correct logos, so she needed Esme's help. First of all, she wanted an iPhone. Which iPhone logo is the original one? Of course, this one. Next, she needed a pair of sneakers for her morning runs. Which logo is correct? Here it is. Next, she wanted to get a fancy purse. Which Chanel logo is correct? This one. The witch also wanted a BMW motorbike. But which one is the original logo? Yep, that's right. When the witch needs gas for her motorbike, what 7-Eleven should she go to? It's this one. Amazing! Now Esme can go back home. Evelyn went to a corporate party with her husband. At the party, she suddenly blacked out. When Evelyn woke up in a hospital, she couldn't remember anything. There were two men in front of her, and each of them claimed to be her husband. But which one tells the truth? Since Evelyn and her husband were at a corporate event, they were both dressed accordingly. The guy in a hoodie doesn't look formal enough, so her husband must be the one who's wearing a suit. Miss Lodge was going on a vacation. She cleaned up her office and left, taking the key with her. When she came back two weeks later, she immediately realized that someone had been to her office while she'd been away. How did she understand it? When she left, the window blinds were closed, and now they're open. A group of friends met in the evening for a game night. According to the rules of one of the games they played, they each had to draw a card with a number. Soon, they realized that the number 6 was missing. Since it was a new set of cards, it was weird that they had already lost it. They all revealed their cards and, indeed, there was no 6. Suddenly. One of the friends started to laugh. She said she'd found the missing card. Can you spot it too? The player who has a 9 actually has a 6, but he's holding it upside down. There are only 8 cards and the highest number is also 8. It was reported that another civilian had invaded Earth. Detective Callum had a special mission to find everyone who was not human. He entered a cafe, searching for invaders, and noticed one of them right away. Can you tell which customer is not human? It's that dark-haired guy right there. Look, he has six fingers. Take a look at this busy street. Can you find an imposter here? It's this guy. His clothes are super warm, but look, his face is blue. Now we're moving to the mall. 
Try to find an intruder here. Look, this woman is glimmering. She must be from another world. We have a few more intruders to catch. Detective Callum found out that one of them was at a local college, so he drove there. Which student is not human? Look, that girl is floating, just a couple of inches above the ground, but still, definitely not an ordinary student. After work, the detective went to the gym, but even there, there was someone from another planet. Can you spot them? Pay attention to the guy on the treadmill. He's running too fast. He must be an imposter. Arya called the police and reported that her friend Violet had been poisoned. The girl found her unconscious on the floor. Here's what Arya said. I was walking past Violet's house and noticed that the lights were on. I figured that she was at home, so I decided to come in and say hi. The front door was open, so I walked in and saw Violet just like that. The police officer asked her if she had touched anything. Arya answered that she had only touched Violet to check her pulse and then her cell phone to make the call. The police detained her for further investigation. Why? The lights in the room are off. But Arya said that it hadn't been dark in the room. That's why she entered. If she didn't touch the switch, then she's lying now. It was a sunny spring Sunday morning. The whole family was at home. When Hannah returned to her room after breakfast, she noticed that someone had played a prank on her and stolen all the clothes from her closet. She questioned every person in the house. Hannah's mom said she'd been busy reorganizing her bedroom. Her dad said that he'd been shoveling snow in front of the house. The girl's sister, Serenity, said that she had been playing video games in her room. Who took Hannah's clothes? It was her dad. There is no snow outside. It's spring. He couldn't have been shoveling snow. So he lied. Tyler came back home and found a love letter in his mailbox. It was a very sweet one, but the sender didn't write their name. Instead, there was some code added at the end. Can you figure out the name of Tyler's secret admirer? The alphabet is the key. D plus 1 means the letter following D, which is E. O minus 3 means three letters before O, which is L. Two letters after G is I. Z plus 0 is actually Z. And C minus 2 is A. It seems that the girl's name is Eliza. Kara likes traveling, but she's terrible at packing. So, your task is to check her suitcase and find one thing she doesn't need to take with her. Kara is going camping with her friends. What's that extra thing she packed that she needs to leave at home? There's no electricity in the forest. She can leave this electric kettle at home. This time, Kara is packing for her vacation in Mexico. She and her boyfriend have booked a room in a beautiful hotel right by the ocean. What won't she need there? She probably won't need the towel. Hotels usually provide them and replace them every day with clean ones. This time, Kara is going on a ski trip with a group of friends. The task is the same. What won't she need there? I'm not sure about their plans, but she isn't likely to need this swimsuit. And finally, Kara is going to visit her grandparents. They live on a farm, and she'll stay there for a week. There's no electricity or running water there, so it's going to be a bit tough for a girl from a big city. What doesn't she need to take with her? I think it's this hairdryer. No electricity, remember?
Weston Jones, a young businessman, was found poisoned in his office. Detective Callum arrived to investigate the case. He had three suspects, Mr. Jones' cousin, Leah Jones, his business partner, Kenneth Brown, and his girlfriend, Emery. Leah said that she hadn't seen Weston for a while. Kenneth said they'd had an argument, but he hadn't poisoned his partner. And Emery said she loved Weston and would never have done anything like that. Who should Detective Callum arrest? Look, there's a lipstick stain on one of the teacups in Mr. Jones's office. The color matches Leah's lipstick, but she said that she hadn't seen her cousin lately. She must be lying. Ariana was poisoned, and Detective Callum was on the case. One of the main suspects was Jake, Ariana's sister's boyfriend. Someone saw them together, and Detective Callum visited him. Good afternoon. I'm sorry to tell you this, but your girlfriend's sister, Ariana, has been poisoned. Do you know anything about it? And do you maybe have any photos with her? Jake said. Oh, poor Ari. I've never met her, but my girlfriend loves her very much. Yes, I have a picture of their family. The detective looked at the photo and arrested Jake. Why? Look, Jake is in the photo too. It means that he must have met Ariana. Then why would he lie about it? Esme was walking through the forest, yep, again. And you know what? She got lost. She had been wandering around until she found the witch's house. She said, hi, petted the cat, and asked the witch to show her the way home. The witch had a task for Esme. She needed several magical artifacts for her new spell, but she only knew their shapes. And Esme had to figure out which of the artifacts the witch needed. Here's the first set. Those are magical crystals. Which of them is the one the witch needs? Here it is. Okay, here are several plants. Can you spot the one the witch needs? Yes, here it is. Now there are several types of insects. Which one of them is the one the witch needs? Perfect. Here it is. And the last crystal. What's your guess? It's right there. Esme's free to go this time. Thank you for your assistance. Okay, let's go. We'll start with checking your vision. All you need to do is read the word. Let's go. What's written here? It says vampire. Next one. Can you read it? Is meta. Another one for you. Look closely. Right. It says snowflake. Next one's up. Are your eyes sharp enough to read it? This is Meadow. Another one for you. Look closely. Yeah, that's Waterfall. Now I'll be showing you some pictures, and your task will be to find all the hidden objects in each of them. Here's the first one. You need to find the five objects you can see at the bottom of the screen. Okay, here's where they are. Did you manage to find all of them? One more for you. Concentrate, and keep in mind, you can pause the video if you need it. Great. One, two, three, four, and five. I hope you spotted them all. Emma Lynn is an archaeologist working in Africa. She has accidentally gotten stuck in a cave, 
and there are just three ways out. Her map shows that if she goes left, she'll come to a pond that pulls everything in. If she goes straight ahead, she'll run into dangerous dinosaurs that eat everything they see. If she goes right, she'll find herself very close to an erupting volcano. Which way is safe? The road leading ahead. Dinosaurs went extinct millions of years ago. It was Dana's birthday, and her best friends had prepared a gift for her. But first, the girl had to find it. They gave her a note with a hint. Do you know how Dana can read it? It looks as if the note doesn't make sense, but it does. The text is mirrored. That's why she can read it with the help of a mirror. Let's see. So it says, your present is in the laundry basket in the basement. Cheryl had to sneak into her dad's computer to delete some emails she had accidentally forwarded him. Her dad had memory problems, so luckily for Cheryl, he always left notes with his passcodes. And indeed, one of such notes was right on his desk. Cheryl typed in 6989. Unfortunately, this passcode was wrong. Can you figure out the correct one? The note was simply turned upside down. Cheryl should try 6869. Reese was on vacation in Cyprus. One day, he saw a beautiful woman and asked her out on a date. The woman said that she would go out with him, but only if he guessed her name. He said it was impossible, and she gave him a hint. The capital of Spain, the capital of Austria, the capital of Romania, and the capital of Australia. Can you help Reese figure out what the woman's name is? The capital refers to the capital letters of these countries' names. So, S, A, R, and A. The woman's name must be Sarah. Yvonne has four frogs, Dot, Hoppy, Yoda, and Aristotle. One of them is black and green and three of them are black and blue. Find out which color each of them is if Dot and Hoppy are of the same color, Aristotle isn't black and green. If Dot and Hoppy are of the same color, then they must both be black and blue, since there's only one black and one green frog. If Aristotle isn't black and green, then it's black and blue too. So Yoda is black and green. Honor and Alea are identical twins. After they were born, Honor had her birthday 22 times. But Alea only had her birthday 5 times. How is it possible? They were born on a leap year. Honor was born late at night on February 28th, let's say at 11.59 p.m. And Alea was born a bit later, at 12.01 a.m. It was already February 29th, which only occurs once every four years. Now let's relax a bit and try to guess some movies. I'll show you some combinations of emojis, and your task is to guess the movie. Ready? Here's the first one. What's your guess? Of course, it's everyone's favorite, Edward Scissorhands. Okay, here's the next one. You must know it. It's The Devil Wears Prada. Can you guess this one? It's Million Dollar Baby. Moving on. You just can't get it wrong. Obviously, it's Home Alone. There's no other story like this one. Can you guess this movie?
This reverse transformation reminds me of the curious case of Benjamin Button. I have a couple more for you. I love this movie. Do you know it? It's Interstellar. And how about this one? What's your guess? This one is I Am Legend. In the afternoon, Detective Callum went to a little restaurant for lunch. He was waiting for his order. He overheard a waiter and a client arguing. The waiter claimed that the woman had ordered a special breakfast set and was now refusing to pay. Hmm. The woman said she'd only ordered a coffee. Detective Callum knew who was lying. Do you? It's afternoon. No one serves breakfast specials at this time. So, the waiter was lying. Miss Vidges called the police and reported that someone had broken into her house, tied her up, and robbed her. When police officers arrived, the house was a mess, and the woman was indeed tied to a chair. Still, the officers didn't believe that it was a real robbery. Why? If Miss Vidges was tied up and couldn't move, how did she manage to call the police? Her cell phone is too far away from her. Hmm. An elderly man had poor vision. He lived with his son, Mark, because he needed assistance. One day, the man was resting in his armchair while his son was preparing dinner. Suddenly, Mark heard glass shatter. He ran into the room and asked what had happened. The window was broken. His father told him that some dark-eyed, dark-haired young guy had thrown a stone into the window and then had run away. Mark didn't believe his father. Why? The man had poor vision. He couldn't see the boy and, of course, he couldn't figure out the color of his hair and eyes. Miss Nebula Hayes left for vacation. While she was away, her home office got robbed. All the people whose fingerprints had been found in the office were interrogated. Celeste, Nebula's cousin, said that she'd been to the house just once because Miss Hayes needed her to send her a document from her office. Alyssa, the gardener, said that she'd been coming every third day to take care of the garden and plants. Cash, the cleaner, said that he'd come every Wednesday to clean the house. Who robbed the office? It was the gardener. Celeste and Cash had some reason to be in the office, so their fingerprints aren't that suspicious. But why would Alyssa come there? As you see, there are no plants in the office. In a VIP club, a rich lady was robbed. Someone stole her diamond necklace. The police visited three main suspects and interrogated them. Paxton said that he'd been at the party. He even knew what necklace they were talking about, but he had nothing to do with the theft. Reagan said that she hadn't noticed any necklaces. Gaia said that she hadn't been to that party. She was too poor to afford to go to such clubs. Who's the criminal? It must be Gaia. She said that she was poor, but look at her huge house and her fancy car. How can she afford all this if she's poor? Let's take a little break and check how attentive you are. Look, here's a ball and three cups. I'll put the ball here in this cup in the middle. Your task is to watch the cups and then tell me where the ball is. Ready? Go! So where is the ball? Look, it's here. Did you get it? Okay, let's try this one. Now I have four cups, and I'll be moving faster. I put the ball right here. Watch it closely. So where do you think it is? It's in this cup. Let's make it super hard and see if you can get it now. Five cups, and I'll move them even faster than before. Ready? So where's the ball? It's 
It's right here. Chloe opened her locker and found an envelope. Inside, there was a calendar and a note asking if she wanted to go to the prom. The note wasn't signed. There were just several numbers at the bottom. 25, 30, 24, 11, 26. Can you help the girl figure out who asked her out? The calendar is the key. You have to find all the numbers in the calendar and the first letters of the respective months will make up the name. So, 25 is circled in June, so it's a J. Number 30 is circled in April, so it's an A. 24 is in September, it's an S. 11 is in October, so we've got an O. And 26 is in November, N. The guy's name must be Jason. Hopefully Chloe knows him. Annika was poisoned, and Detective Callum was on the case. Hmm. One of the main suspects was Marcus Jones, Annika's sister's boyfriend, because someone had seen them together. Hmm. Good afternoon, Mr. Jones. I'm sorry to tell you this, but your girlfriend's sister was poisoned. Do you know anything about it? By the way, do you have any photos of her? Marcus said, Oh, poor Annika. She's such a good girl. Yes, I have pictures of my girlfriend and her sisters. Here it is. The detective looked at the photo and arrested Marcus. Why? In the picture, there are four girls. This means that Marcus's girlfriend has three sisters. Still, Marcus somehow knows exactly which one of them was poisoned. Well, your body can do incredible things on its own, but you may also have features that make you stand out even from the largest crowd. Having extremely long eyelashes, having an additional joint in your fingers, or not having any lines on your palms but one. You name it. So let's find out how unique you are. Many people can roll their tongue, so it's a pretty lame party trick. But only about 15% can twist their tongue into a clover shape. How about a tongue bouquet? Only about 3% of all people on Earth have an X shape on both of their palms. Look at yours. Maybe you're the lucky one. Some say it's a sign of a strong character, by the way. Can you cross your eyes so that they look at each other? Some people, about 6% of the world's population, can vibrate both their eyes in their sockets. Looks strange, but it's actually really quick moving of the eyes back and forth. So it depends on the strength of your eye muscles. You could train that if you wanted. Ducks, seagulls, platypuses, all these creatures have one thing in common, webbed feet. Same as about half a percent of the people in the world. The most common occasion among these lucky guys is that the second and third of their toes have a web between them that connects them. Some rare individuals have finger joints that are so flexible they can bend both inwards and outwards. It's unknown how many people can do that, but you could check if you're one of them, of course. There's an unknown number of people who have an extra joint in one or more of their fingers. It bends like a normal one and doesn't cause any discomfort. There's a condition where the remains of a membrane that formed while a person was still inside the womb still cover part of their eye pupil. It makes the pupil look like it has a blot right in the middle with strands going in every direction, attaching to the iris. Around 2% of people have a lazy eye. It's a condition that appears before birth when the brain focuses on the development of one eye more than the other. As a result, one eye basically looks in a different direction from what it should be. There's a little muscle in your jaw that muffles the sound of your chewing typically, and it's usually relaxed. But when you flex it intentionally, you can create a roaring sound in your head. Only about 16% of people can actually do that intentionally, though. But why would you? Can you flare your nostrils at will? If so, you're in about a third of people in the world that can do that. We actually flare our nostrils unintentionally quite often, but only a few can move those nose muscles as they want. Your eyes focus and unfocus on their own all the time, but about half of the population of our planet can control them. They can relax the eye muscles, make the eyes unfocus, and look in different directions. 
Now, all of us can raise our eyebrows. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things our mimics allow us. But mm -hmm. only some can move one eyebrow at a time. Also, if you can raise one eyebrow, it's usually one in the same. You're an even rarer individual if you can move <gasps> either of your eyebrows at will. By the way, people who can do that can also often move their ears, either one or both. Hypermobile hands are a rare thing, as only about 5% of people have them. This condition allows them to bend their hands and fingers backward, and some of them can even grab things with the back of their hand. A less fortunate but no less rare thing is being tongue-tied. It's when your tongue is literally tied harder than usual to the bottom of your tongue. Around 5% of people have it, and it does cause some inconveniences, unfortunately. Another 5% of the human population are secretly elves. Well, maybe not exactly, but these rare individuals have pointy ears that strongly resemble elfin ones. This is caused by an extra fold at the tip of the ear, and the reason for it is still unknown. About 4% of people have a club thumb. It's a thumb that's about two-thirds of the standard length and is flatter and broader at the tip. Dreams usually come in color, but about 12% of the world's population see them in black and white. Scientists believe this is related to the emergence of color television. Before it appeared, about 75% of the people saw their dreams in black and white instead. Widow's peak is a triangular shape of hair right above the middle of your forehead, and it's a rare occasion, too. Only about 12% of people have it. Also, it's a genetic thing, so it usually runs in families. Amber eyes, which are a sort of a mix between yellow and brown, are a more frequent color than green or gray ones. About 5% of people have amber eyes, while green-eyed people make up 2%, and gray eyes occur in less than 1%. You might think it's not the case, but gray eyes just often get confused with blue ones, which occur in about 9% of people. If you have a dark ring around the iris of your eyes, you're one of less than a third of the world's population to have a dark limbal ring. It also becomes more prominent in people as they age, so even if you don't have one now, you'll have it later on in your life. Talon cusps happen in around 4% of people. There are small bumps on the back of the teeth that usually occur randomly and look like little nails. Not only do you have a dominant hand, but a dominant eye. Only about a third of people are left eye dominant. To check which category you belong to, stretch out your hands in front of you and make a diamond shape with them, connecting the tips of your index fingers and thumbs. Center some object in that shape and close your left eye. If the thing remains centered, you're right eye dominant, and if not, you're left eye dominant. Less than 1% of people miss a nail from birth. It's a genetic condition that literally prevents you from developing a nail entirely. Still, sometimes it's only part of a nail that's missing. A select few people, also less than 1%, have an eyeball scar. The vitreous pulls away from the retina and it causes the pupil to sometimes lose its round shape, and a line that looks like a scar appears on the iris. Another group of people have exceptionally long eyelashes. There's a condition that can make them extra thick or curly, or have more pigment, too, making your eyes much more expressive. There's a rare and usually genetic condition that literally makes your skin blue. In people who have it, hemoglobin, the protein that carries and distributes oxygen to the body, can't effectively release it into the tissues. As a result, the skin bears a bluish tint, and the lips become purple. Most of us have patterns of creases crisscrossing our palms, but about 1.5% of people have only one prominent crease, while the rest are much less visible. Less than 1% of people with light hair have a single streak of dark hair on their heads. This occurs due to increased melanin production in the area. The pigment that makes our eyes, hair, and skin lighter or darker depends on its amount in those parts. Similarly, when there's an area on your hand that got less melanin than it should have, you get a patch of white hair. It can also occur in an eyebrow or in the eyelashes of one eye. Now, have you found any rare things that you probably have? Or have you met someone whose appearance is hard to forget? Please do share in the comments.
That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.